Hi guys, welcome to Sugar MD channel. Today we are talking about how to kill your sugar addiction naturally. Now, some of us are guilty as charged and we know that we have a problem, but we cannot give up on the sugar. Now, how do we really do that? Let's talk about it. I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist. And today we are going to kill those sugar cravings. Hi guys, thank you for watching. Uh, quickly, I have a quiz for you in the description below. So after you watch this video, take the quiz, answer the questions. The more questions you answer correctly, the higher the chance. And one in three will win a chapter from my book. It's going to be delivered electronically to you, a real chapter from my The Ultimate Diabetes book. So go ahead, finish the video, take the quiz, and win. All right, guys, so, right, so you have diabetes, right, or insulin resistance, or you cannot lose weight, and you are looking a way to stop that sugar cravings. Now, number one we have to start with is not eating sugar. Oh, well, it's easier said than done, right? So not eating sugar, that's like a dream to some of us, right? But it is doable, and how do you do that? Well most of the time you have a choice to either go for something just sweet and sugary or something else well if you can tell yourself that this sugar and sweet can wait until after i eat this other food and you can wait wait so they can wait now, the thing is the trick is you are going to trick your body I don't believe, believe in willpower. There's no such thing as choosing just sugar over something else if the sugar is right in front of you, right? So what you can do, though, you can eliminate buying those sweet and sugar stuff so it's not in front of you, so you're not staring at them, right? So if you come home and you see your wife cooked something or baked something that is just staring at you, this beautiful cake or cookie, whatever, tell your wife or your mother or your husband, whoever cooked it, take this away from me. Take that away from me. That's not what I want to see because it's very tempting. Now, what you're going to do, though, I'm going to say, okay, well, let's have a good dinner, and we'll think about that dessert. I don't want to break your heart, but I'm going to eat my food first. And in that food, you're going to have a lot of good fat, healthy protein, and healthy high-fiber, low-glycemic index food in that dinner or breakfast, whatever it may be. So you will incorporate these good fats like avocado, olive oil, coconut oil. Some butter is okay, although it's not my favorite, but canola oil, for example, is not too bad either. But again, the, I think your best bets are olive oil and, and the avocado, avocado oil, whatever it may be, and then healthy, healthy protein as well. And you are going to, and then the, a lot of fiber, right? So the salads and stuff like that. So you are going to feel full and guess what? Ta-da! The cravings are gone. So the cravings are gone. Now what's the next step? Now the next step is, especially for the bunchies that comes later uh, during the night, for example, then you sit down in front of a TV and you just want to start eating something, uh, just want to munch on something. Uh, well, guess what? You should prepare yourself. So when you get up from that couch, Go look at the pantry, you know, go look at the fridge, whatever. You want to grab something because you're craving. It may be due to medications. Again, it's not your fault. It is there. You have to address it. Now, you can definitely go for something like, like uh, carrots and peanut butter. is definitely going to be better than grabbing some cookies, right? Um, or you're drinking some tea, some black tea or uh, some uh, decaf uh, coffee or something like that. It will keep you busy, will keep you satisfied, uh, will keep you full, will be a good option. Uh, you can even chew gum to, you know, keep yourself busy and change the taste in your mouth uh, so that you don't feel like you want to eat that. So the, the taste in your mouth, you know, drinking tea or drink, chewing some gum will actually help that craving. 
Now, the, the most importantly, you don't want to go to bed late because think about this, you know, we normally eat what every, you know, four to six hours. Well, if you're eating dinner at six o'clock, by 10 o'clock, you may start, you know, getting really hungry again. So what's the solution? Go to bed at 9.30. That way, you're not going to necessarily wake up from your sleep unless you're extremely hungry or dying uh, and you didn't eat for a day maybe you will wake up from the sleep but typically people don't so that's gonna give you a nice stretch of not eating which you can call that an intermittent fasting you know that fasting period but again staying late staying up is just not going to help your cravings because you don't want to be constantly in battle the best battle the best war is not going into that war so that's that's another suggestion that you need to keep close attention that you have to time it where you have to be in bed by a certain time another couple things you can consider in your diet you can have uh, to manage your insulin resistance you can you can uh, incorporate chromium magnesium uh, probiotics in your diet if you incorporate that your gut health will improve and believe it or not the bacteria in our intestinal system determines our fate when it comes to insulin resistance and cravings and so forth so you need to feed your gut with healthy things with the healthy bacteria which is probiotics uh, and chromium and magnesium is important because they are important in regulating your overall insulin metabolism so you have to make sure that you're getting either from a natural uh, sources or from supplements uh, preferably from natural sources now our supplement sugar md advanced glucose support is also very effective in cutting the the cravings and that is because of the banaba we have in that supplement quite a bit of amount and that definitely i get feedback all the time from my patients that their cravings are gone which is another way to deal with it if you think that you cannot apply all the other principles we already talked about and finally make sure you stay hydrated with non-caloric beverages because you know when you are thirsty your body sometimes feels like you're actually hungry not thirsty so for example if you're if you're not thirsty you're not going to crave for fruits as much or, or sweets as much uh, versus when you are dehydrated so keep that in mind as well so guys i hope that video was helpful please uh, remember to subscribe uh, give a like and share and we'll see you in the next one hey guys i hope you are enjoying this channel so far and i hope you subscribed already if you didn't do it and if you did watch this video right there i think that will help you too